Hello, I'm Richard Gisbert, and you're watching Al Jazeera's Playlist, the show dedicated to bringing you the most innovative sonic fusions, the sounds of people and places coming together in music. This week on the broadcast, the playlist is tuning into protest rap from the streets of Gaza. We'll meet the young Palestinian stars of a growing scene and trace their journey out of the territories to sold out shows in the US. And the beats of Bangra go abroad, how the traditions of India are being remixed in the music of bands like the Canadian Indo-Celt outfit, Delhi to Dublin. First up, it's a potent mix of Arabic melodies, hip-hop beats, and hard-hitting lyrics. Palestinian rap is making its way out of Gaza, the West Bank, and Israel, and it's packing a serious political punch. The scene first emerged in the late 90s when young Palestinian rappers started sampling New York-style hip-hop, infusing it with their own lyrics, and shaping their own social and political messages. Hip-hop music has always been a preachy platform, which makes it a perfect fit for the Palestinian territories. Groups like Dam are using this music to call attention to their side of the Israeli-Palestinian story and the hardships of life where they live. The movement has also inspired a film on the history of hip-hop in the region. We're getting started this week with the politically driven world of Palestinian hip-hop. I was listening to public radio in 2002 in New York and I heard the song Minar Habi, which means who's the terrorist. And I flipped out, I was like, oh my god, Palestinians are making hip hop. I think what made this song special is that if we release this song 300 years ago, it will be hit. If we release it another 10 years, it will be hit. Like everybody feeling it. Why it became an anthem is because all people felt this song, felt this hypocrisy of this war, saying this is a terror and this is not terror. How you doing, Brooklyn? No, 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 no. Mishak, Mishak, Mishak. Brooklyn, assalamu alaikum. This is the new brand of socially charged hip-hop coming straight out of the Palestinian territory. Outfits like Dam and the Palestinian rappers are two of the originators. They mix Western beats, Arabic lyrics, with attitude, opinion, and politics. It's so hard to get through the reality of Palestinians' day-to-day -day life to an American audience. But how you can do it is through the back door. And the easiest back door, because of its cultural importance, is hip-hop. So if Palestinians can do hip-hop and sound so good at it, maybe they are a bit like us, and so maybe we should listen to their story. We took the hip-hop by the African-American, and we put the Eastern influence, our own influence, to this music. Also, we are coming from the Middle East and from Palestine, so we have a message, political, social, personal, and this is what makes them unique, the sound and the message. This is hip-hop, you live reality, 
and you just write the reality in rhyme and you do it. So whatever you see around you, you just write it down. And as long as I'm living in Gaza, I was living in Gaza, I see what's going on around me, what was going on around me. So I saw a lot of people dying, a lot of people getting killed, a lot of, a lot of houses destroyed, a lot of my friends died. So do you expect me to write love songs about that? Sure not. What's interesting about Palestine, in a way I have not really seen in other places, is that they have this thing called sound catchers. You really hear the sounds of the war and of the violence, and that really inflects into the, into the lyrics and inflects into the way the beats and the sounds come together. But of course we are influenced by American hip hop, yeah, that's, that's, it's obvious. So when you exchange things, and when you learn things from each other, then will you, you will appreciate each other more and you won't feel that people are uh, beneath you. What we grew up on, our cultural music, our uh, what the parents what used, they used to listen to all the resistant Palestinian music, and then suddenly we got the hip hop coming into our life. This new hybrid of Palestinian MCs and New York style hip hop caught the ear of Jackie Saloon, a Palestinian American, and the idea for the film Slingshot Hip Hop was born. Me being a first-generation Arab American, um, all I was subjected to growing up was negative images of Arabs. And we never hear anything from Palestinians there. We don't hear anything from the youth, let alone, you know, Palestinians as human beings. And so, um, I just, that, so that's what sparked the idea, that I was like, oh, I should make a film. This story is about breaking down these walls that separate us. The Gaza rappers were totally influenced by, by groups like Dem, and they started rapping because of them, and so then they started communicating and they started making songs over the internet together, and um, so that sort of took over the storyline um, of, of how disconnected they are, but how hip-hop reconnects them. And what we began to lead PR continues in Gaza. Suddenly you see people from the 67 area in the West Bank in a refugee camp listening to our music as a Fourier area and getting stronger and getting this feeling of unity. This is making the whole issue even to get to another level, which is saying that hip hop is not just a music, it's not just a political thing, it's even stronger. <laughs> Hip 
Pop is urban music, the sound of the street. The Palestinian version of the Arab street has its own story. Checkpoints, divided cities, road closures, and sealed borders, all of which work against the idea of musical collaboration. <laughs> Mohammed Al Faro is now living in the U.S. He's originally from Gaza. He had gone to visit his sister in Egypt, and then um, uh, Hamas uh, got in power, and then the borders all closed. So he's separated from his friends, from the rest of PR, which I know is very difficult for them. I love being with my my friends. The feeling in the studio when you are in the middle of three guys that you were with them since 2003, that, that feeling itself is like a lot lost by being by myself. <laughs> And he's been ripped out of Gaza, and the stuff that he's gone through and his family has gone through, it's just tragic. But you know what? I mean, that's also what fuels great music. He's really just capturing you know, the spirit in a place that is just so bereft of hope. Hip-hop is music that measures the social temperature wherever it is played. It gets the message out. And as groups like these rise up, they're showing a young generation of Palestinians another way, an artistic and edgy way, to stand up and be heard. What they're doing is something so important, and that is educating the youth through their music of their roots, where they come from. That's why hip-hop is, is the reality of the street, and people can say whatever they want on the mic, there is no rules. So it's resistance. Palestinian hip-hop is resistance. What it is, is the intifada set to music. <laughs> The Palestinian rap scene and slingshot hip-hop on the playlist. If you're looking for an instant replay of that item or any story we've ever done on the program, you'll find them all on our website. Just go to aljazeera.net slash English and look for the link to playlist. We're back after the break with Bollywood, Bangra, and musical fusions from India.